Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela and today I thought we would just have a little play about because I'm kind of in that mood. So before we do that, a quick shout out to Jody, Shelby, and Tiffany. Thank you for your comments, for you following along, for joining our community. We really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is a little flip through of what I've been working on the last couple of days. But before I do that, I have to full in full disclosure. Um, I think I sh shared with you a while back, we had a really bad hailstorm and that required a, an entirely new roof and all new uh, siding. So if you hear pounding, <laughs> that is what it is. But it's been going on for, um, this is day three. They got a little delayed because of rain. So I was like, I just got to do these videos. But there is a payoff for all of the pounding. And let me tell you what that is. Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to grab this small chunk. <laughs> all right. So you're probably wondering what this is. But uh, yesterday I took Zenny out to do her little business. And while I was out there, Angel who is the foreman on the job doing the siding, um, was out there. And oddly enough, I was going to be doing some journal covers and I was going to go get some Tyvek tape. Now, if you don't know what Tyvek is, it's actually this and it is very durable and it makes great reinforcement for your journals. So I really didn't want to have to go to our home improvement store if I didn't have to. And so a lot, while I was out there with her, I asked, there was a bunch of Tyvek all over around my yard. Um, and I'm like, okay, is that going to the garbage angel? And he's like, yeah. And like, he thought he, I wanted him to throw it away. And I'm like, can I have some of it? And he looked at me like, girl, you're crazy. But yeah, you just help yourself to whatever you want. So this is the little small chunk. Um, I have about, I don't know, 12 to 14 feet by maybe... 10 feet wide of Tyvek in my little storage over there. So I've got enough to last me a very, very long time. So thanks to Angel for being such an angel and helping me out and saving me a trip to the, to the home improvement store. So, um, recently I was working on, uh, I think I told you guys about this when I was on vacation, I was looking for things that I could use to, um, craft with and they had some parchment paper that was this color so when I got back I bought some and so I was kind of making a play with a couple of envelopes and I think I might save uh these and do them on a separate video because I experimented as you can maybe tell on these with some stamping and I have to say it doesn't work the best on this paper but it did on some of the other papers that I use so I will show you those uh these are a couple little this is just a journal card. You can see they're shiny because, oops, I forgot to pr take out the photo paper before I printed my digitals. But these are a couple of my digitals that I made into um, pockets, text. This is another, I, I don't remember if these are April or I'm sorry, May or June um, collage digitals on my Etsy shop. But I finally got around to making some of these into journal cards as well. So that was kind of fun. And then this is from my alphabet um, kit. There's little ones that are this size and there's great big ones. Let's see. I know. I, oh, here's one. The big ones like this. Uh, so I finished a couple of those. Actually, I think these I did a while ago. They might have just ended up... Uh, in this pet, in this little stack. I did a few little fold out envelope journal spots. I was use, trying to use up some paper that I was not a big fan of. This has got two little, is it, no, two or one. Just one little pocket in there. And then used up some more of my strips. I had tons of strips. This is from one of my digitals that I did. Um, what do we got here? I don't even remember. Oh, this is from a very, very fragile old book page. 
Okay, just another one of those <clears throat> journal spots. Looks like, see, it's already, I mean, it was very fragile paper. I probably shouldn't have used that. And a couple little pockets. This is out of wallpaper. It says, become the best version of yourself. Sometimes there's a glare, so you can't really see it. Uh, this one, I had done these a while ago. These are out of, so you can you really tell? Not really. These were out of, uh, I think an Amazon envelope or something. And so I just turned it into a flip and have a little tuck in here for goodies as well. Ooh la la. Um, this was just a couple of pieces of paper that I just did as stamp offs and just decided to embellish them. And then this is um, from my vintage florals. These are from um, vintage greeting cards and I just blew it up, cut it all out and then cut all of the pages to match. And I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. These are all wallpapers. Um, I've got a couple little pockets and then the front. Well, I think it's supposed to go like this. No, it's not. I did intend it to go this way. Um, and then there's some pockets in here as well. So I don't know. It's kind of large, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. If I just might use it for a journal all by itself. We don't, we don't know. So uh, let's talk happy accidents because this is what we're going to look at today. I was just um, getting some little side tucks cut out. Here's another one from that digital kit. And I was in the middle of cutting. And all of a sudden, put that aside for a second. Where are the rest of them? Let's see. I'll show you all these. Um, I went, well, how in the heck did that happen? I'm trying to find the one. Oh, it's this one right here. So what I did, I didn't know that this piece of paper was folded in half. And so when I did it, I was like, well, that just saved me a lot of time. So we're going to make a few of, few, few of those. I think we're going to make some to go into um, my Christmas journal, which I'm getting ready to start. Um, so this was one that I did with the... I really like that a lot. Just with the triangles. Have a little fun with those triangles. I don't remember where I had these all. That's where they're going to go now. So we've got those two. This one. I So I've got a nice little stash of these to use. Uh, and we'll make a couple of those in just a couple seconds. And then... The other thing, well, here, let me finish up with these. These are just two pockets that go on a page. What's this? This was, this is wallpaper as well. Wallpaper. And I don't know what this was from, but some kind of scrap of some sort. And then what was this? Oh, I found, I've been finding a bunch of these envelopes that are really, really cute. And this one, I think, was either a birthday. Yeah, it was a birthday um, card. So I just kind of repurposed it. I added a couple more of these tucks, one on the top. Um, but I think I'm going to be doing some more of those because those are really fun and really cute. So the last thing that we're, go I'm going to show you how to do is this project right here. But before I do that, I'm going to tell you what they came from. So I have been to thrift shops many, many, many a time. And these types of books are oftentimes there. Now, the cover is great because it's very, very sturdy. It already has the ribbon on it, so it would make for fantastic cover, right? So I did save this. Um, but the reason I didn't buy it was because this is like a rep... Um, a reproduction of like a Victorian <clears throat> uh, photo album. And I was like, ah, I don't know. It seems like a lot of work. Well, this one's really big. This one is 11 by 8. Um, but the other day when I was 
at the thrift shop. There were two of them, the one I just showed you and this one. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to figure out what to do with this. So I bought them. I was killing time while I was waiting for Demi at softball practice. And so I sat there looking at them and I pulled all of them. So they come like this. They're hooked together. So I pulled every single one of them apart while I was sitting there and thought, okay, what could I do with those? Well, I started with the small one. Hold on. I don't know why I'm getting so confused. And so this is the guts of the small ones. So I thought I would show you what I did. Um, but you can see like some of those are doubles. We're going to use this one. So I'm going to put it right here. Oh, let's see. But they're so pretty. I mean, the colors are gorgeous. And a lot of them are duplicated. So I think you can see the one we're going to do today is this, this one. And it's in there two or three times. But super, super cute. So what I did is I pulled out. Let me set these aside. For the, um, my circle is not very circular. It looks more like an egg, but the butterfly saved me. This is from the large book, and I just took out one of these. Let's see which one was it. There's more. There's I know they're double, but aren't these adorable? I can't wait to, well, I can wait to fussy cut them because I don't like to fussy cut, but here it is. So I cut this out. And then I was trying to use up some paper that I didn't much care for. So if you can see, it's kind of shiny. There is a piece in there. This this is a tuck, but it doesn't tuck into the glass. I just left it. Um, and I don't even know if it's going to really work very well because it's round. But I did leave it open at the top. And so that is just another little pocket. So that was out of the large one, um, which we're not going to make one of those today. But we are going to make this. So what I noticed is <clears throat> this is really heavy cardstock. It's almost like a chipboard uh, weight. So I was just going to do a fold out because I thought, oh, that'd make a you know great signature. But I really think it would make a great cover. So what I thought I would do is quickly show you how to do that. And then maybe uh, using this signature that I think I'm going to sew in to this and call it just a baby journal, just a mini journal. Um, I thought we'd do some of those corner tucks and I'll show you how, how I kind of simplified my life. So let me show you how to do this. Maybe. Where's all my stuff? Okay. So the first thing that I did is I measured how large this opening was and it was three and a half by five and a half. And I just had some of these sheets uh, so I just stuck them on the back. So I'm going to do that in a second. And then I got to look at mine. I got to move. I got to rearrange here. Uh, so then I decided that for this one, I'm going to take this signature out. So I put the... I don't even know what this is called. It's, I don't, I have 12 by 12 sheets. I have no idea why I have it, but clear, clear stuff. And so <clears throat> once I did that, then I just backed it with uh, fabric. This was actually a wallpaper sample. And so it was one sided. This was some paper I wasn't a real fan of. And so this was the back of it. Um, and so I just had to use one page, but I made pockets on each one of them. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't put that in there too soon. I've been known to do that. I'm not going to mess with it right now. Um, so <clears throat> I was trying to, again, use up some of those things that I don't really like. And then I just stuck a little tag on there. Uh, this piece was from my stash, as was, this was from one of my digitals. It says just be on it. So it turned out super, super cute. So I just started by cutting those two pieces out. And we'll just glue them on. And the first one I did, I did it a little bit too big. 
Uh, so this one, I kind of reined it in a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'll quickly do that so it's not... Something on there. There we go. Oh, I got a little carried away. Got a little outside there, but that's okay. Uh, we might as well just put the back on this one. Which one... So I cut out, again, I found two pieces of paper that had, were two-sided and cut them, well, actually they were remnants, so they didn't quite fit. So we're just going to put them on and then we'll do a, um, we'll do some trim, which I didn't even think about that. So I don't, oh, I do have something I think that will work. Okay, so I'm putting it to the edge that will of uh, where the opening is, so we'll we'll cover this with something, and then we're gonna do this side. Uh oh, here it is. The little boogers are hard to see. Okay. <coughs> I don't know what my deal is, but I've just been like in a little bit of a funk today. And it's nice and cool outside. It's a beautiful fall day. I got carried away again. So I, there's no reason for me to just be like, man, I'm not motivated. But I'm not. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this one on. Son of a biscuit. Well, last time I had two pockets. This time it appears that we're going to have one pocket. Dang it. I knew I was forgetting something. It happens often. I must be like not only in a funk, but I'm in a fog. So I'm going to do this really quick before. I... Oops, they're all falling out from... Ugh. Anyway, maybe it's all that pounding that's driving me crazy. I don't know. Okay, deep breath, Angela. Huh. So we're, uh, I just got done packing for yet another softball tournament this weekend in Chicago. And, okay, so the one on the left will be, it is just too late to try to save that, a pocket. The one on the right, you know what, let's come on, let's, we can do this. We can change it out. Have to try something different. All right, let me use something to get this. I want it to be a pocket, so it's going to be a pocket. Now we're gonna have to pick out some different paper. I had to put my oh, crud chunks. Um, I had to put on my sweatshirt because I was. It's only like. I don't know, in the 50s today. All right, let's find a quick piece of paper. Um, here. Maybe I can fix this. Do you think I can use this piece? Just say yes. Give me a second here. So anyway, I just want to, I'm just feeling this to make sure that it's pretty much dry. Uh, all I have been doing is bringing my, my bag back, my suitcase, throwing everything in the wash, folding it all back up, 
putting it right back in my... Okay. I think it's salvageable. Crisis averted. Uh, just because, you know what? I've got my little... Blitz outfits. So I'm wearing them every time anyway, just to support Demi and her team. So I thought I may as well just wear the same thing. Save everyone time, mostly myself. Okay. So that was easy. And then uh, I have a snack bag that is... Um, always packed. This is a piece of um, fabric sample. I'm just going to take this off and I think that'll work. So we got snacks covered. I just have to pack up the cooler and put in the essentials, which the essentials would be our chairs and then we have a oh it's a I don't know it's like so if it's if it's really cold or if it's rainy I don't know exactly what it's called but it's like a little baby it's like a tent a tent for your chairs so then if we get inclement weather then we can just hop in it and it keeps you from out of the wind, the rain, the snow, and trust me, I've been in all of those situations at ball. So, um, oh, I hope this glue is gonna be okay. Uh, and what I learned is if I bring it along, it's probably not gonna be crappy weather. <laughs> if I don't bring it, inevitably I need it. So it goes with this all the time. And that's, like I said, that's crooked. But I kind of want it that way because I like the... Oh, I suppose. No, I'm leaving it. I like that it's wonky. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm kind of feeling all flunkalicious. Just because I've been on the road so much. Okay, so that's all you do. Um, and then you can pick whatever you want to go inside. Let's see if we have something that would work. Uh, these are all probably a little too... looking. Well, here, let's look at something that we have from... No, I'm not going there. I just... Oh, here, this would be pretty. Maybe. Will it go down in there? Yeah, cute. So there's that. I'm going to take it out because this isn't totally dry and I don't want it stuck in there. Let's see if we've got another one. Most of these are all pockets, I think, and clips. I'll have to do some thinking on that. Nothing that really fits the bill for that one, so. We could, actually, because this other little project's simple. We could make another one of these. I got this one. Let's see what it would look like in here. I kind of like the flower. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's see. We gotta hide this. What's it say in the inside? 
I think I'll just do like a belly band across there. What word shall we use? I kind of like sweet. Will it cover it? Yes. Well, that's nice. I'm not doing anything really fancy. Like I, you know, I covered this, made an extra pocket on the front. It must have had <clears throat> a lot of extra, whoa, a lot of extra writing or something on it. I don't recall. I only made it a couple days ago, so I should remember. I think we'll, I've been having, I have several of these, but this particular one, it's just, I think I need to just throw it away. Let me find another one. That's working a little bit better. And I think I have a strip of... Well, that will work. Super cute. All right. Well, it's almost the same exact. Is it? Pretty darn close. Now, the other thing that you could do as well, and I didn't only because I wanted to be able to pull things in and out, is you could put something behind there, you know, a bird or whatever. What did I do? I don't know, I give up. <laughs> oh, we need something back here too. Maybe we can use a word. Oh. Let's find something out of my... Stash. You do you, I love that. This is one of Dave's sayings, try harder. We need white. Goal. Goal. <laughs> oh. Cheers looks good to me. <sighs> All right, so we need something behind it. I got to get in a good mood because... I am excited about this, and I need to embrace my excitement. Um, in one of my next videos, I'm going to show you guys. Let's just see if we got it. Here, maybe we can use this scrap. Uh, a whole lot of fun Christmas stuff, and we're going to start on some of our, on my, one of my Christmas journals. I'm trying a new technique for the cover. And I've got about mm, four to six options for different journals, depending. On how the spirit moves me, I've already started working on some signatures, which I'll show you in a minute. How about we use this, a little strip of that at the top too. And I'm not even going to distress it. Can you believe? Perfect. Um, so I have some digitals to show you. I have some Etsy shares, some of my digitals to show you. Um, I got some happy mail I want to share with you. So I got to get right in my head and starting em embracing that spirit of Christmas. Cute. I feel like this needs something too. 
Hmm. I got this little string that. Let's see what we got in in here. Maybe we got a little. I'm I'm noticing that. Oh, this might. Me. I'm noticing that I'm running out of. This might be cute. It's a paper clip. This might be cute just on here. I'm running out of my little baleen. My little snippets. Do I like that? Okay, this... <laughs> I got string on my hand and I can't get it off. I don't mind that, but maybe we can find something else to put on here. It just seems like... But look how... Oh! Nope. Just running low. I need to just maybe that's what I should do in the car this weekend is take all my scraps and make snippets. Oh my goodness. I could do this if I take this off. Let's see. I don't really like that. Ah, and Decisive girl. None of these are working for me. That dress cute. What's this? No. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it good. I'm not loving anything. If I feel if I find something that I absolutely love, I'll add it later, but we're going to call this one good. Okay, so there we have it. Whether you use it for a cover, whether you use it for just a signature. I am not going to punch those like I did and make tag. I mean, because they're not tags, really. Cute. Cute. So there you go. Easy peasy. So the next time you are out and about and you find, we'll have to decorate, I'll have to decorate the cover and I'll show you that later. Um, you know, maybe not walk past that like I did, like, I don't know how many times, um, but it's been a lot. So there you go. Okay. Journal cover slash sig. Very heavy signature is what we're going to call it. All right, so I've got a bunch of these that I already cut out. So here is the journal that we're going to be working on. And I already have a bunch of signatures. Well, just kind of the bases. I don't have any, I don't have any bags. I don't have any other little small things. So I thought what we would do. So here's what happened. Um... I was cutting these and I did not realize that when I was doing them, I had a piece of paper kind of like this and it was in half. Like this one has lemons on it. And so I was just thinking it was normal. I kind of like it like that. So I was cutting them for these, right? And then I realized, oh, that was in half and I just did that. So we're going to use this somewhere because it doesn't really work with the lemons, but I like the color. So let's just see if we can find a few places to put these. Let's start with this first signature. Let's see if there's a good spot for it. Can't cover up Santa. Oh, this might. Oh, I like that. So, easy peasy. Now I just saved myself a whole lot of time. So, all I'm doing is just gluing on the bottom. And I've got pockets on either side. I'm sure many of you have done this a million times. I apparently like to take the long road. The hard, the hard approach. And so... I was doing them singly. 
I'm all about efficiencies. All right, so there we go. So we got two little tucks. Let's see. I don't really think I want one there, but this would kind of make a cute little flap. Good. Let's see, that one was, well, it's on both sides. Let's do it over here. Let's see what this looks like. So all you have to do is fold your page in half. Oh, I like that. And cut away at an angle and voila. We'll see. We'll use, we'll look at some of these. I don't want too many of these. in here. Oh, shoot. I like you. All right, that one I think is good. Let's look at this next one. What do we have? We got some of these too. Oh, this one would be cute somewhere too. It's already folded in half. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. We have Landon's. We got those two. Banquet. Golf, golf banquet tonight. Let's see. These are in the ephemera kit. A lot of actually what you're seeing, a lot of them, a lot of this is. Oh, somehow I got two, two of the same, but I kind of like that. This is kind of cute. Uh, you know, except I don't want to cover up all that. Let's see what's on the inside. What if we did two of these? And then we put something in there. It's not horrible. Or, what, oh, the other thing I could do, this one might not be big enough. Let's see. I'm kind of liking that better. Let's see if we have one more we could do. I don't, I shouldn't even be trusting myself today. Oh, here, I got this. Oh, this is a double. Let's see just what it looks like. Do I like that? Well, where is it? Oh, bold. I'm not loving it. Not at all. Let's see what other pages we have. Sometimes you just got to try it out. These are kind of nice to put these on because it kind of helps reinforce them a little bit. So I'm going to do that there. And that's pretty light paper. I'm not going to go quite to the edge because it's kind of fragile. Oh, that's cute. This is, I'm just going to play around with this because it's not something. Oh 
No. I need something up there, though. Now, yeah, let's try this one. Oh, that looks... <clears throat> mm, yummy. Vintage greeting card. Ooh. What about this? I think this is something from the same... I like that. Okay. We're doing it. Oh my goodness, my tummy's growling. Perfect. And this is some of the vintage wrapping paper that's in the, these are in the kits and, and you're getting a sneak peek here. And in the, di there's digitals too. I feel like this one needs to be used somewhere because it's just too cute. What if we put one there? But you know what? Maybe let's not. Maybe let's stop with the angles because this might. This might make just a cute belly band because it kind of goes with that. Well, let's trim her down a little bit. Sometimes you just have to just take a mental check out and call it good and just kind of craft away, which is what I've been doing. All right, we'll make this our last one. And did I, I did print these. So when we work on this, we need to use some words, but I have um, a digital kit that I believe it has nine different sentiments, nine different pages of sentiments in two different fonts in three different colors. So we've got to be able to find something to go on there, but that looks cute. <clears throat> so yeah, not really a tutorial for this one, but I just thought it might be something that you might be interested in and it gives me a time, a chance to craft and not think too much because uh, God knows I'm not doing a very good job of it. Um, all right, friends, so we will be, I will be back um, with another video. Um, the next video will be uh, a little play, a little more playing with uh, these signatures. And we will go through a whole bunch of show and tell um, Etsy shares, digitals, and some happy mail. So until next time, friends. Uh, thank you first for uh, indulging me and <laughs> my randomness today. And until next time, remember to take time to just be. Cheers. <laughs>